Today I have two easy ways to use your 3D embossing folders and a special giveaway. Hello and welcome back to another Take Two with Therese at Alter New. And today I've got two very easy and fun ideas to use with your 3D embossing folders. Uh, my focus today is going to be on this amazing Craft Your Life kit. This is the Hello Beautiful and it comes with everything you need to make so many different cards. But I thought I'd give you a couple of ways to make some really quick and easy cards that we need this time of year for our stash. <laughs> and focusing on the embossing folder okay so what I've got here is the hello beautiful embossing folder and some frayed leaf this is the pigment ink now to be honest the pigment ink works much better with this technique and I've literally just laid the ink over top of the raised area of the embossing folder now this is going to give a faux letter press kind of look I have done another video which I will try to remember to link in the description below where I actually added the color and it was a dye ink but to the opposite side so it became like the background color so basically have a look at your 3d embossing folders and play with your inks whatever if you've got a dye ink give it a try I probably would recommend a lighter color ink for your dye inks but if you've got some pigment inks then certainly the raised portion uh, for that letter boss letter letter boss letter press <laughs> look would be perfect so this card is pretty much as simple as that I've just cut down my panel to sit up on my card front and I did forget to add my sentiment so I'm doing that now using my misty I did have to take the foam layer out because I had my card layered up and I added a enamel heart this would make a, an amazing set of gift cards and I could envisage this with either six cards with the same color and using all different folders or six cards using six different colors or two of each <laughs> the options are endless so my second card I'm going to do uh, a little bit differently and I'm using the stamp set from the hello beautiful and I'm stamping out with some pigment ink that one of the bouquets is quite a few beautiful floral like mini bouquets in this large stamp set and I did kind of miss a corner of the stamp so I did have to come back in and in <laughs> add that in afterwards and I thought this time I'll keep it in line with my other card and what I've done here is added some of the frayed leaf ink to a watercolor palette picked up some water in my brush and added it to the pigment ink and I'm just literally laying down a wash of color over the whole image and I'm not using a lot of water because I have just stamped this on some Nina 80 pound cardstock and I didn't want to cause the paper to pill so while I'm doing this really simple coloring here I thought I'd just let you know that I do have a giveaway at my blog you have the chance to win a $15 gift certificate to alter new and I have all the details there and I will put the link in the description below so please join me there and I'd love you to have the chance to win to spend a good certificate alternate it's always such fun I love shopping there <laughs> can you tell <laughs> so this obviously because I haven't added a lot of water to it it didn't take long to dry but I did come in with the low speed on my heat tool just to make sure that it was proper dry before I ran it through my die cutting machine and this because it's the craft your life kit it does come with the coordinating dies for the kit so everything you need is in these kits pretty much just to make a million zillion cards <laughs> So to work out the sandwich for your die cutting machine with these 3D embossing folders because they are so thick on the big shot I found that just using tab 2 with the 
cardstock in my 3D folder and the plate, one plate only on top, is the perfect combination. But do not force your machine if it doesn't feel like it's going to go through. Take a closer look at your sandwich and maybe have a look on the packaging or on your machine and see if you can get some idea about what to use. But please don't force your machine with these big dies. You can, I don't want to see you ruin your machine. And I find that for me, I prefer the big shot because it doesn't put as much pressure as the Gemini. And I get less um, creases in my cardstock around the area. So on this card, you might notice I just simply did some embossing, 3D embossing with some plain 80 pound Nina cardstock, created a background for this floral bouquet that I had already stamped and colored. So basically this is just giving me a subtle background of white, um, of a white pattern, a white floral pattern, and then I can add whatever image I want on the front of that. I did stamp another quick sentiment and this time I cut it out with one of the featured sentiments dies and these are seriously a go-to for me. They are, I love those little round edges on them, they're perfect. And there's a wider and a thinner version. And on this one I came in with some of the circle enamel dots from the Essential Black and White set and added three of those on my image. Really simple cards today and a great way to get some really quick designs for your stash and I don't know I think they're very elegant <laughs> so thanks for joining me today and if you like today's video please click on the thumbs up button and you can find all the links at the blog link below